throne of all thrones. Like you never need to change this chair. All right, so now we are going to actually do a comparison review between the P50 and the Herman Miller Aeron chair. What are the distinctions that we really need to care about? Well, first and foremost, like let's just get right off the bat that this is not a cheap chair. The T50 is cheaper than the Aeron, but it's not dramatically cheap enough for me to actually say it's a budget chair. You can get five of these T50 chairs for a single Aeron chair. But now that I've said that, what is the point in buying the Aeron chair if you can get five of the T50s for a single Aeron chair? Well, the simple answer is because of number one, it's the name. The name Herman Miller sparks out that this is quality. This specific model is a very timeless design. Let's look at the way it's industrially designed with this almost spider-like claw. And the fact that you can just lean back you can lean back well with a T50, but there's just something very special about the way the Aeron leans back and the way you can adjust it. Definitely, you do feel the cushion of this, uh, of this carbon weave mesh, as opposed to the T50's cushion, which is uh, not mesh. So people who live in a warmer climate, like in the Philippines, who might, might find this a little bit more hot than the Aeron. The seat is not as firm as the Aeron. At the same time, it has a more sofa-like feel to it when you sit on it. Now, when it comes to design, the T50 has a more familiar design, which you can see from a lot of other chair, chair choices. It is a great use of plastic by Fursis because even though it's plastic, it seems to be durable and it's a, a nice matted color actually. I do like the way they designed this chair. The T50 is actually quite attractive for even though it is a familiar kind of chair. Now if we're gonna go to the Aeron, you will see less copycat versions of the Aeron precisely because the design is very novel and I believe it might be difficult to pull off. I mean, look at the way they made this seat form to be a bucket seat. Look how it sort of like has wings on the sides. The purpose of this is to actually make sure that your butt is cradled. It's like it was designed to hug you. As opposed to the T50, which is your more typical like maybe like a lazy boy kind of feel to it when you get on this cushion. It doesn't curve around your butt specifically. And I do love this spider-like design for the lumbar area support. Uh, very minimal use of metal and yet they were able to make this chair look premium because of the unique curvature of the design of the seat. The obvious thing people might notice immediately off the bat is the Aeron doesn't come with a headrest while the T50 is, as I said, the typical kind of office chair which does have a headrest. People are always fighting about whether or not it is most ergonomic or more comfortable for a person to actually use a headrest. Herman Miller is of the opinion that a headrest is not needed. That the body, when doing tasks, would be most comfortable not relaxing on, on anything. Now, I have reservations on this for one big reason, especially if you are leaning back. What's gonna happen there, in my opinion, especially if your table is on the high side, is that there's a lot of top heaviness that goes into supporting your neck and nothing is holding it back anymore. So I feel some degree of tension, especially in this position. In terms of arm adjustments, the Aeron goes backwards, forwards to the sides, and you can bring them up and down. Now, it's a little bit difficult to bring the the arms up and down it takes a lot of pressure, but for the most part, once you've found the, the specific uh, height that you want, you won't actually be changing it that much. Now for the T50, there's a button here on the side and you just need to press it. And the armrest also goes backwards, forwards, and to the sides. It definitely is less of a premium experience because you're pressing on these metal buttons and they have this sort of click thing. As opposed to the Aeron, which has this very almost like Porsche-like firmness to it, like, damn. The Aeron can actually tilt forward, this dial, and now we can tilt forward. And you can do a combination of tilt forward and tilt backwards. Or you can choose to just tilt forward and no more recline. So now it's locked. It's 
locked, but I can still recline forward. This one, I'm no longer tilting forward and no longer tilting backwards. Again, tilting forward. And I can actually lock the tilt forward mechanism. Apparently some programmers do like it better when they can actually lean forward to work. Uh, the T50 on the other hand, has also a tilt forward mechanism. The problem is with the T50's tilt forward mechanism is you need to get actually up from the seat and you need to turn this sort of like wheel. There you go. You can't do it while you're actually sitting on the chair. This is the T50 with a tilt forward mechanism in place with no recline. Here is the T50 with recline and the tilt forward in place. Now a tilt forward is uh, permanent until you bring it back down. Let me see. Oh, oh shit. Okay, with a little effort, you can actually uh, engage the tilt forward mechanism while you're sitting on the chair. But it takes some effort to spin that down because essentially your weight is pressing down on it. You won't need to worry about the problem with the Herman Miller Aeron because my weight has no correlation whatsoever into the use of the dial to activate it. The another thing the T50 has, which the Aeron does not have, is that it can actually extend seat. There you go. And you can combine that with the tilt forward mechanism. So the seat is now both extended and it can also tilt forward simultaneously. The Aeron does not have a, extent, a extension because you are meant to actually pick a Aeron size which fits you. So there are three Aeron sizes and before you settle on buying one, you need to follow the Herman Miller chart, which I'll link up above. You're supposed to get it right the first time in terms of measurements for your body and the chair. So I wouldn't say that this is a defect in the Aeron, but rather the Herman Miller made sure that you were forced to make sure that you knew the proper size of Aeron. It, not a lot of people know what size of Aeron to get all the time. And sometimes, even if you do follow the Herman Miller chart, you might actually find that you prefer a smaller or a larger version, either the A or the C, but most people get the B. This is a Aeron size B. For me, as a 5'6 person who weighs 150 pounds, um, this is perfect for me. I don't feel any pain whatsoever here in my legs. A lot of people seem to complain about that, but I believe the reason as to why they complain about that is because they probably chose the wrong Aeron. But yes, uh, for something so expensive, you would think that you wouldn't feel pressure to make sure you get it right the first time. But a T50, it's a very versatile chair. I believe regardless of weight, size, and height, you will be pretty much fine here altogether. The purpose of a seat extension is, I believe, more for larger people who need that extra support here in their legs. And um, that added protection of extra customizability regardless of your build means that you're not going to have a lot of difficulty dialing in what's comfortable for you. Now, the one thing that I have a complaint about is that the T50's uh, lumbar support is on the firm side. Like This is a pillow. But it's a very firm pillow, like super, super thick. But it is very versatile. Like you can bring it up and down. You can also increase the tension. I have reduced the tension completely. Like there is no additional tension whatsoever. And yet it, I still find it rather painful to use actually. Trying to get adjust to the T50 as opposed to the Aeron. Now the Aeron's lumbar support has these uh, rubber pillow things. I wouldn't even say they're a pillow, but they kind of feel like on a rubbery side. And uh, they're really quite nice. And you, it also has great adjustability. I think that in terms of lumbar support, the Aeron, if you get this version, uh, is really top notch. This is the remastered version of the chair which has the lumbar support. If you're ordering, for instance, an Aeron from the States, the lumbar support isn't always attached. It's an optional thing altogether. If you're looking to buy a chair just based on looks altogether, I think the T50 is pretty great because at least you can customize the cushion. The Aeron only comes in very few colors and once you get it, you're kind of stuck with that color. But here with the T50, if you ever choose to decide to change the cushion to red to black or black to red, you can just buy a new one and it's not too expensive. And the thing about this is that you can actually remove this and wash it or you can even replace the foam altogether after a couple of years. 
Just like the Aero, which is not difficult to believe that this chair would last maybe 30 years, the T50 might also last just as long, just based on the build. This is a very firm and strong metal build altogether. And just like the Aeron, also has chosen some premium plastic. Now, the good thing about the Aeron is that you don't need to worry about stains so much because you're using a mesh chair altogether. Here, you might worry about stains and also the foam just giving way. Just like how if you sit on something for like 20 years, that foam will be crushed altogether. But this is replaceable. Assuming, of course, that uh, fur seas stays alive long enough to provide replace. I think that you get to see a lot of value with the T50 as opposed to the Aeron. Now, if I had the choice, would I return my Aeron and get a refund of my money back and then just stick with the T50? I would probably just stick with the Aeron. Personal reason is because I just really like chairs and it's something that I can carry with me wherever. You can always change your PC change your phone and you know those are all pretty expensive you get flagship devices all the time but with the Aeron this is the flagship throne of all thrones like you never need to change this chair like it's it's both a statement piece it's comfortable I'll never need to worry about getting a chair again the T50 albeit very comfortable in its own way and attractive in its own way the design is just not as timeless altogether. It's like saying I can get a I can get a Casio watch which is good looking and reliable or I can get a Rolex which is overly priced, reliable, but at the same time it has that sort of symbol of familiarity. Like this is the best that the furniture industry can give you. Just like how Rolex can say that this is one of the best in terms of watch within the industry altogether. So, but this is a personal choice. But essentially, if you're asking for me, like what would be bang for buck, I would definitely consider the T50. It's probably one of the most attractive chairs we've ever reviewed on the channel. If you ever want to buy a headdress for the Herman Miller Aeron, the Atlas headdress is available and actually uses the same materials as the Herman Miller Aeron. My only problem with it is that it look, it makes the chair look very ugly, if you ask me, because it has all these little contraptions. There's something very attractive about the way that the Aeron does not have a headdress. One thing I want to highlight is that AIO Global, which sells the first these chairs, and CWC, which sells the Herman Miller chairs are actually both in BGC. So if ever you do fancy wanting to see if you if your body is comfortable in either chair, why don't you make one trip to BGC, schedule an appointment, or just head on over there to the showroom and try each chair out. To conclude, I really like that in terms of customization, the T50 has a lot of options and the recline is pretty great. Okay, I like the recline of this better than the Sihu M57. Like it's a comfortable recline altogether. In case I wanna put my feet up, the Aeron has a, will always have the superior recline functionality. But in terms of price range, you're getting more value with the T50 if you like to lean back like this. The best opinion about your health is really your own back as opposed to my back. I can only just tell you where you might want to start, but how you conclude your journey on better back support really ends with you. What's up, Internet? Mahira parin mahuha ng PC parts ngayon, but that doesn't mean you can't get this shirt to remind you of what you still need. Jokes aside, na totoo naman, we made our very first merch to not only reflect our passion for PC building, but to help you teach your friends what you know through the Hardware Sugar PC Anatomy shirt. To order, go to our site or click on the link in the video description. Hover over products and select t-shirts. We have three designs and they come in sizes ranging from small to XL. Press add to cart, select your delivery option and your payment terms. We deliver anywhere in the Philippines, but you can save on the delivery fee by paying and picking it up in our store in Makati. And if you wear it long enough, baka maswertehan ka, and you'll finally get the go signal from your significant other or your parents to finally get that AIO or RTX 3080 that you've been dying for. We want to give a special shout out to Christian Espinosa, Rafael James, ITX Addict, Ian Meru, Liam Magnai, and John Rubin Ochia. Thank you so much for your continued support for more than a year. You guys are just freaking awesome. Thank you and let us know if you want us to embark on a specific kind of content other than what we already have. 